we watched the Real Housewives of Lagos, I want them to just understand that women were strong. We can do this. There's such a great dynamic in terms of all the women on the show, the relationship between the women, the way that we end up adding value to each other, how we cultivate these relationships and these friendships. We learn from each other. Like, I'm not married. I don't have any children. But just being around these women who, have, who are either married or have kids and just learning from their experiences, how they've raised their families, the mistakes that they've made, I've learned a lot. So I would like for the public to see that, learn from it, see how hardworking we are, understand that you can actually make money from businesses. You can actually start as many businesses as you want. You can be whoever you want to be. There's no restrictions. In Africa, there's no glass ceiling. There's no one stopping you from being who you want to be. And I think a lot of people watch that book. And I think that when people watch this show, they're going to understand this and they're going to be motivated and they're going to be empowered in their life. For anything that is not Nollywood right now, because we've all grown up from Nollywood, you know, we've all watched like scripted movies and they're amazing, of course they go fast. But I think that people are just so desperate for reality TV. People want people that they can relate to. And trust me, every single character on the Real Housewives of Lagos is going to appeal to somebody out there. Whether it's the bougie one or like the person that you consider like, you know, local or like the wannabe, whatever it is, there's going to be somebody out there that can relate to that person. And I think that reality TV generally, I think that reality TV generally all over the world is becoming a lot more popular and also kind of like taking over from, you know, like actually scripted movies. So I think this is an absolute step in the right direction and people are going to jump on it. And from this, we're going to have so many more like this because you'll see that the appetite is, is large. You'll see that people are super, super interested in reality TV and they just want someone that they can relate to. When I moved to Nigeria, I didn't know what to expect. I came here almost blindly, went to law school, was looking to practice in a law firm, actually got two jobs in two very good law firms once I was done with law school. I had my business on the side, Good Hair, which I was running. In England, it was perfectly well for me to balance the two. When I got to Nigeria, it was the complete opposite. I couldn't run that business and work in the law firm at the same time, especially if I wanted to do both well. For whatever reason, I chose to focus on my business. From that business, I've started various other businesses. The terrain is not easy, but it's possible. There's one thing I'll say about Nigeria, the opportunities are here. I know for a lot of people across the world, on the other side of the ocean, they feel like, mm, Nigeria, there's corruption, there's this, there's that, but I promise you, the opportunities that you can find in this country, you will not find it anywhere else. It's literally virgin terrain. It's virgin economy. You can come here and do anything. If you have any sort of value to...